Recently, I was receiving a lot of inquiries about Mocha and people were asking me to test this out. So Mocha is a no-code platform where you can build apps, websites and so much more which are fully integrated with database payments and actually functional. Now, they do have a free tier but realistically speaking, the free tier isn't enough for you to build a valuable product. But for this video, we're going to go and use the free tier and I'm going to show you how much you can test it out within the free tier credits, which is only 120 credits. And then you can upgrade to the basic plan. We're going to be talking about the pricing later. But for now, let's dive right into the video and start building with Mocha. Hi and welcome back to Skill Cup. This is Ho Shamrez and we're finally getting started with Mocha right now. And we're here at the Mocha dashboard. Now, as I was speaking about the pricing, so you can go to the subscription and billing right over here. Let me zoom in a bit. So we have a bronze plan, which is around $20 and you get around 1500 credits. And for silver, you get around 4500 credits and you can adjust these credits as well. But the pricing is going to double down. But that's not all. If you go to usage right here, you can see that we have a sign up bonus, which is around 120 credits. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using these credits to test out Mocha and see whether it's worth the hype or not. So let's go ahead and create a new application. And to do that, we just have to go to create new app. And here we can just dump our idea. But we have a few helpers right here. One is inspiration. Maybe you're inspired from something. So you can go ahead and say, yeah, I'm inspired by this application or this idea. You can just choose your inspiration. Then there are tons of different templates like a habit tracker. You can go with personal finance tracker and much more. You also have a prompting 101 guide where you get the best practices, ideas from live websites and video tutorials. And also I'm going to choose one of these templates. All right, so let's get back to our ideas. So I wanted to build a unique portfolio for myself. And by chance, we have a template for unique portfolio right here. So when I saw this, I so wanted to try this out. So if I click on unique portfolio here, it should take me to the portfolio or how it should look. So I think this website looks really cool. This is about me, my skills and tools, then my projects and we can view these projects. We have get in touch right here and the footer. So we can pretty much go ahead and clone this if I wanted to. And this looks really cool. Okay, the animation is really cool. But there's something that's missing in this template and that is database connectivity and also it is not as dynamic as it shows. You can see I cannot probe into these projects. So I'm not going to be using this template right here. I'm going to go back. So I didn't like that template because it was just a static landing page and it did not have any functionality included in it. So let's just make something that has more functionality to it. So I was thinking about creating a dashboard of some kind maybe a tracking dashboard or maybe a crypto dashboard so i'm just gonna dump in my prompt and my idea right here and then we can talk about all right so i went on and i found this money tracking dashboard or application so i found this really helpful and i think this is something more realistically functional and it has practical usage so i went on and cloned it so minitary is an ai powered expense tracker with smart insights and you can pretty much go ahead and sign in with Google. And before giving the demo of Minitary, I want to go ahead and show you how you can navigate through the code, the data, and what settings you can change whenever you clone or whenever you're building using Mocha. So if you go to the code files, you can see these are the files. And if you're using the free tier, some of the files are going to be logged when you're cloning some template. Also, if you're going to the data part, so here you see all the data that is coming through or your Google sign in or login. So these are the users and the expenses data is going to be here. So the database is attached and it's sitting right inside Mocha. Then we have the settings tab and here you can go ahead and pretty much upload all the assets you want. The assets can include the logos, the color palettes, the themes and everything. Also, you can go ahead and add your secrets like I have added my own OpenAI's API key. And you're going to need this if you're going to use AI in your app because my app is going to be an AI powered expense tracker. Then we have the knowledge base right here where you can upload basically your knowledge base, your examples and a system prompts and stuff like that. Also, you can go ahead and add your own custom domain if you want to publish this. This is really a full stack application builder and I can pretty much go ahead and publish by clicking right here. But let's go ahead and check out the build first. So what I'm going to be doing is let me expand this. So we have a better view. 
now i'm gonna sign in with my google account so let's go ahead and do that there you go let's sign in and there you go this is how the application is going to look like so it gets my profile picture and my name from my google account and i can refresh the insights by clicking here so it's using my openai's api key to give ai insights like spending summary and and some tips to save money and i literally need many saving tips right now all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and enter some dummy expenses and then we can actually see the data right here so give me a second and i'm just gonna go ahead and input some of the expenses all right so there you go after adding some of the data these are the results so we have total tracked amount this month amount and average per entry so i have gas gym rent and subscriptions and you can see the cumulative growth of my expenses in just one day so in this graph you can see the monthly situation of your expenses and all the entries i made today so it's considering all the expenses paid today so it's saying highest day is 2450 dollars also we have some money saving tips right here so we have some spending summary right here that all of my spending in the last 30 days $200 went to entertainment subscriptions now i really like the money saving tips right here so i have to review each subscription and cancel those that i really use and i so need to do this also look for bundle deals or lower cost plans for similar services so i think the money saving tips are really good and overall this application looks amazing it is quite handy and has practical use so i might as well buy mocha and actually clone this in my own way and put this out on the web for a cheaper price for everyone to use and make money through this this might be a great business idea i can just go ahead and prompt it to enhance this application and it's gonna go ahead and do that so i can do branding i can change the name and i can add more features to it and then i can sell this application over the internet and generate revenue through that all right so here is my honest review about mocha mocha is really handy when it comes to websites and web app building and it can actually make you fully functional applications that has practical usage in the market and you can use these applications to make money but your idea should be solid and the niche you choose should be rock solid as well so with that said i want to wrap this video up and i want to tell you guys go ahead and try out mocha and you guys can actually build without knowing how to code i hope this video was helpful and answered all of your queries and inquiries that you were posting about mocha and with that said i want to wrap this video up if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring